tragic loss. And now he joins us in the studio with what he's learned. Mark? Yeah, Rick, Vicki, police have released very few details about this case. We spoke to Lyndon Bray's grandfather, who says even her family does not have all the answers. She was just a joy. Always had a smile on her face, always happy. Jerry Shepard was emotional as he remembered his granddaughter, 24-year-old Lyndon Bray. She wrote books. She, uh, she's an artist. I've got two paintings She over there that she drew for me. She, she, I loved horses, and she drew me two horses. Shepard was shocked when Bray was reported missing last week at Jefferson Memorial Forest after her dogs were found. She used to go to parks all the time and walk the dogs. I just thought, well, they're gonna find her. It's a big place out there. I, uh, but they found her all right. Bray was found dead Friday at the Paul Yost Recreation Area. The coroner's office says she died of ligature hanging. Police are still investigating her death. Shepard believes something happened to her and she would not commit suicide. I just don't think she was capable of doing that. Just like Maria said, she would have called us or somebody if she and let us know what she was doing, and she didn't. Police say Bray was reported missing at 1022 Thursday night by her boyfriend, 37-year-old Tim Winterholler. He has since been charged with arson. Police say Winterholler set fire to Bray's car at the trailhead, quote, with the intent to damage or destroy it. He has not been charged in connection to Bray's death. For Shepard, it all raises more questions. Well, I wonder about the timetable. For now, police describe the investigation as ongoing and are not releasing any additional details. Court records show Winterhaller's criminal history includes an arrest in 2021 for violating an emergency protective order that Bray took out against him. In that case, he was convicted of harassment with physical contact. Winterhaller is being held at Metro Corrections on a $50,000 full cash bond on the arson charge. He's due back in court later this month. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.